Well, oh, it's bright. Here is another one. Uh, luckily for this one, they weren't under a carpet or furniture or anything. That happens a good amount. Several of them have hidden under furniture after they come inside. But this one was just by the door, so she must have been a new arrival. Uh, one of the cats was trying to play with her, but she seems unhurt. So she's tucking her little arms underneath her. Let's flip you over. So you, there you go. Now your arms aren't underneath you anymore. As you just saw, she also has the blue underneath. I think all those kinds of lizards do. She is very pretty, though. I mean, like, look at all those bright colors. This might be the prettiest one yet. Just keep on getting prettier, huh? Uh, she seems pretty unintimidated, pretty sedate, I guess. I don't know. She is looking at me. And at the camera. Hi there, hon. Uh, I'm leaning towards the name, like, Nadia. So I'm thinking maybe Nadia Nick. Because that rhymes, and I guess that's my scheme so far. I mean, they don't have to rhyme, but I just thought it sounded nice. So, I guess when the thumbnail is released after I film this, <laughs> that is, um, we will all know. Why is there a can? Hello? There's just a can of pickled beets. Uh... In our yard, that is should not be there. We don't have pickled beets. Did someone throw that thing? Because if so, they have a good arm. One of the animals just picked it up and played with it. I don't know. Anyway, um, I like to chill more with this with with the lizards that I, I bring up because, like, I feel like these kinds of garden lizards don't get enough attention. They're very pretty and oh, oh dear. Well, she was ready to leave. So I guess my desire to chill was not reciprocated. I'm sorry, Nadia. I didn't realize you hated me. <laughs> um, but that's probably for the best that she leaves. Like I said, there's really not... I was going to say, anyway. There's really not a lot of ways I can make these videos longer and not just distress the lizards. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure what the policy is for these kinds of garden lizards, but I probably should just release them relatively quickly so sometimes I don't film a video but it's happening so often that a lot of times I just take the time to do it and they seem to be somewhat chill they calm down they don't seem to mind being held very much as long as they don't poke them or anything um but yeah I, I guess Nadia knows what's up and it's time she moves along so go on eh, just gonna shove your tail a little bit you're not moving. Okay. Let's get a close up while we can. It's a very pretty lizard. Um, but can we get her to move? My dear. Why are you not moving? See, she seems like pretty calm. I don't know why she doesn't seem to have much motivation of moving. Uh, to be fair, I don't know how long this lizard has been in our house. Technically speaking, she could have made a break for it because some of them do get trapped up in our cupboards and they stay there because they, the cats sometimes try to find them again. So she could be kind of hungry. And in that case, like, she should go and eat something. But I don't know if she just doesn't have the energy to run away or if she doesn't feel panicked. But she should probably get under something. Not yet. Uh, this, uh, staying in frame. Because I'm looking, I'm looking at the actual lizard, and then I'm looking back at the camera, and I'm realizing I cannot stay in frame for the life of either me or her. Um, just, can you move, hon? Can you move? People at home might want to see that you can run still. I don't know. I mean, you see, you jumped off of my hand, so you're you're fine. Okay. How much do I have to bother you before you run under a bush? Or do I just need to put you under a bush? I don't need to put you under a bush. I just, I don't like leaving them out in the open because I always feel nervous because the cats can go in and out of the house freely and I didn't, like bother to lock them up beforehand. So if they come out here looking at what I'm doing and they see her, they might just catch her again. So I'm just going to put them 
over here by the cactus and where I usually put them. Let's zoom out a little bit because, yeah. And then, there we go. I don't know why, but it seems like whenever I put them near the actual foliage, they feel prepared to leave. I think it's because they know there's somewhere they can hide easily. So I'm, I'm never quite sure whether or not they're in fear of their lives or if they aren't that scared of me because, you know, they might play dead if they don't see a better option. Which is why I can't keep them around for too long, like I said. But that was another athletic lizard, so I hope that was entertaining. Anyway, I'm going to take this empty can of pickled beets and I think I'm going to throw it in the recycling bin. Uh, so see you next time. Over and out.